I urge you, if you're over 40, you need to start a YouTube channel now. The first reason I would say you need to start a YouTube channel now. Second, I would say the third reason is what's going on YouTube. My name is Hassan El Sadiq. Welcome to my channel. And today, this video is specifically for people that are over 40. You need to start a YouTube channel now. So I've been doing daily uploads for the last eight days. I've been on YouTube doing all type of content for years. But today I'm going to show you exactly what I do in order to make a video every single day. And it's not that time consuming, but I urge you, if you're over 40, you need to start a YouTube channel now. And the reasons why is this, like why would you start a YouTube channel? Um, YouTube is for kids. YouTube is for young people. Now is actually the best time for people that are over 40 to start a YouTube channel and I'm gonna tell you why. The first reason I would say you need to start a YouTube channel now, if you're over 40, is because you need to start documenting yourself. Um, I think that's the most important thing, right? What if your grandparents or if your parents, if they're not living, had a YouTube channel and you were able to watch their journey along the things that they were doing in their life? How impactful would that be to just be able to go back and watch <laughs> your grandparents' channel on YouTube and seeing what they were doing um, or your parents if they're not living. I think of my dad like, man, what if my dad had a YouTube channel? He was a master plumber. And what if he had a YouTube channel showing his journey as a master plumber? How valuable would that be now? My dad is passed on. So that's first to document yourself and the things that you're doing because you could possibly live forever in a sense. Second is if you're over 40, you have a lot of experience. A lot of people don't make it to past 40. I think 40 is a milestone in your life where I wouldn't say you have everything figured out, but you have a lot of experience and you went through a lot of battles and you're battle tested at 40. That's what I would say, right? And you have experience and you can add value to your younger self and also people that are a step behind you. And you also can add a different perspective to people that are older than you. So that's number two reason why to start a YouTube channel. I would say the third reason is you could possibly create a living or supplemental in the living for yourself through YouTube, right? I think everyone has something unique in about what they're doing. You know, for me, I, let's just say I use myself. I've been documenting my journey for 15 years of being an entrepreneur and the ups and downs. And now I'm finally comfortable to tell that story. I told a story yesterday that I never would have thought that I would tell. And I was ashamed, but I never thought I was, would have the courage to tell that story. And it was, it was, it was something that was um, hurting my growth actually to not tell the story maybe one person could get value from that story, maybe a young person. So you have something unique and you possibly can earn a living through YouTube. That's the third reason why. Another thing I wanna add and why to start a YouTube channel is if you're starting a business or you have an uh, existing business, documenting what you're doing in your business is vital this is next this is going to be 
how businesses are going to grow their business organically. Um, showing what they're doing, the behind the scenes, like the times of running uh, advertisement to people, buy this, buy that, those are slowly decreasing. People want to see and buy from real people. So documenting what you're doing behind the scenes, how you're doing it, that's another reason to start a YouTube channel is to build your business that way organically. Okay, so this is the basketball court that I come to every day. I'm just giving different ideas on how you can film, um, especially as a solo filmmaker. I really like this shot. So what I did is I just put the camera right here and I just stood right here and I talked to the camera, right? So I just, so what I did is I propped the camera right there and then I used this tape in order to put it up here. One thing I want to I want to add about starting a YouTube channel is you have something unique about you, right? I personally believe your story is your currency. Um, and that's the one thing that cannot be duplicated is your unique story. So I think more people and whoever's watching this, you need to take that very, very serious um, because it's only one you. It will only be one you ever in the world. Now you go into your idea or whatever. So we have your why. Why, if you're over 40, you should start a YouTube channel. We have that why. It, it's a very valuable why, right? Now, what's your idea, right? You know, let's just, let's do a video. What's your idea? And this is how I do my videos. Like I just do a Google doc and I put everything in here and this is how I do my ideas. The idea of a video, I personally think value, like how can I tell a story, but then equate value for someone else, right? Off of my personal experience. And I think you want to talk about things that you know most and that's yourself and your experience, right? It could be your journey as a father. It could be your journey as a businessman. Then you film. What I use is this iPhone that I'm that I'm using right now, or uh, a GoPro right here, or I use this uh, this A7 Sony um, to film. So this is how I generally film, right? Just holding an iPhone like this, or holding a GoPro like this and talking to the camera. And this is how you should film. I personally like to show exactly what I'm doing or film when I'm going to the place or actually doing the thing I'm doing, whether it's taking meetings, I'll set up a camera, um, whether it's walking to the basketball court, I'll set up a camera. Um, but I like to uh, be in rhythm because I'm already doing these things. I'm already thinking, it's quiet. I don't have ear pods on. So I already have these thoughts in my head. Now for you, you can do it any way you want to. I'm showing you right here. Like if you look, that camera is right there because literally I'm just holding my camera and I'm filming, right? I'm just talking to the camera. And as you continue making videos, you'll get better at talking to the camera and you'll get better at, you know, you might have tools where, you know, you might have something to hold your phone and, you know, you, you'll get better as you go. That's what I'm saying. But um, I just wanted to show like, this is basic. This is beginner level. This is how you can do it today, right? You can sit on your couch and do this and, and give value and, you know, share your experience. But you can start right now. This is beginner level. Grab your phone. So I just had an idea for a thumbnail. Um, this is also a part of it as well, is you're going to have to do a thumbnail. And as you're doing your video, you should either have ideas for your thumbnail before you start or how I do it while I'm doing the video. Um, most of the time, I don't have a thumbnail in mind when I start the video. I try to start with the idea first and then I flush out the idea. So the, my idea for the thumbnail is just a guy talking to the camera like this and trying to get 
you know, just in nature talking to the camera. Okay, so the next step after you film all your content, you film your video, whether you film, film it outside or whether you film it in your office or you film it in your couch, the next step is to get the footage off of your phone and onto a, a computer so you can edit the footage. Now, if you don't have um, editing software, I use Final Cut. I'm gonna show you how to do everything in Final Cut. How I particularly do it, you can also just use CapCut. You don't have to do anything fancy. Like I said, this is a beginner's guide. You can do this tomorrow um, to make your first video. So, um, it may be a little bit more than a beginner's guide because I would say if you really want to do this, you need to get Final Cut. You can work, you can do everything on your phone, but you need to get Final Cut so you can edit and you can uh, kind of manipulate your video the way you want to do it. But you can start by using your phone and you can start editing on Final Cut. So I'm going to airdrop everything onto my computer. Okay, so these are all the videos that I filmed for this video right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna airdrop it over to my computer real fast and I'll show you something. So I've already made a folder and it's called F9. So I made a folder that I put into this hard drive, right? So this is like I said, what I personally do. So it's exporting, so it's on a computer. What I do is I move it over into the folder. Once it's moved to the folder, I don't label it yet. I put it over here, but what I do is I immediately throw it in the trash to save space because these are 4K files and I want to save space. So that's what I do. I just continue to, to do that. And also when I airdrop, I also take it and I delete it from my, um, my, my phone as well. Okay, let's just start from scratch. So let's just say you just got Final Cut Pro. You're doing this and you're like, man, I want to become, you know, I have value to add and I want to start making YouTube videos after being 40 years old. So you open up Final Cut Pro, it opens up and the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new library. You'll title that library 40 Year YouTuber. <laughs> so that's what you'll title that library. And then from there, what you'll do is you'll make, you'll go to new and then you'll make a new project. So we'll name this project my first video okay now you have your project file now remember we already put all of the files that we shot today into a folder right so the easiest way that i can show you to do this is like this now couple ways that you can do it you can do it professionally but i personally think this would be the easiest way for someone that's new that's a beginner that wants to get their first youtube video up and going i think this would be the easiest way to do it so i would just drag just like that and then what i would do is I would start from the beginning and I will watch the footage, right? So as I'm watching the footage, let's see. Okay, so right there, I'm going to show you. Because look, now, like I used to, cut faster right it's many little clips that i could have took from there to make this faster but 
right now I just want to let my 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 content run so people can understand who I am and how I talk and things like that uh, instead of just taking the best clips. So what I'll do is. Okay, so. Okay, so right there, I'm going to stop. And what I would do is, I'm just going to cut this, Command B. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to drag this because I think I start again right there. So right there. When I clean it up, I'm going to add a transition. I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so I'm going to let this extend a little bit more. Okay, so that could be a video right there, honestly. Okay, so that could be... Three reasons why someone over 40 should start YouTube, right? This could be a video right here. Four minutes and 30 seconds. And that could be a video right there, ready to post. What we're going to do is we're going to export it. That's how easy your first video could be. That's not even, that's a one cut edit. That's not even in depth whether you're adding titles or anything like that. This is the beginner version, and you can absolutely do the same thing on uh, editing software like CapCut. Um, one cut and tell a story. This video is four minutes and 31 seconds. Like I said, for me, the title would be three... Um, Three reasons why someone over 40 which should start a YouTube channel. So, um, that's, what I, that's what I would do. Now, what I would do for, just, just to give you some, you know, the easy, like I said, like I, I want people to, to start right now. So, this is how I would create a thumbnail. I just want to start today. I don't have much time to spend, but I have a message to give, right? So I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to take a screenshot, something compelling, and I'm going to take that and make the thumbnail as soon as I can find it. Okay, we'll use this right here. So what we'll do is we'll just go to file, share, Save the current frame. Export that. So I already have my video. I have my thumbnail. And now what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Canva. And I'm going to type in, well, I don't have to type in because it's already it, already there, but you can type in YouTube thumbnail. Go to a blank template. And go to the picture. Again, drag it in. This is the easiest way. I'm trying to sh show you guys the easiest way where you can start today. Drag this. So it's no procrastination. You can do this right now. You have val you have some value to add. I'm I'm sure of it. You know, um, you might want to adjust some a couple things: the brightness, the contrast. Something, you know, you might want to adjust it a little bit. Sharpness, whatever. Okay. You might want to add a title right here. You might want to add your title, right? Let's see. Over 40. Let's 
start YouTube now. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make that smaller. Bring it. Uh, hold up. Now I'm just give like I said I'm just giving just basic basic things or whatever. Okay, so let me see. So it's just little ways that, you know, little things that you can do, like I said, change the color. But look, you can start that. You can start right now. That's the point. And um, if you're over 40, you definitely have experience. You definitely have some value to add. So that's going to. So you just export that. You can download it. And it's just that easy. Like I promise you. So just download it. Boom. That's your thumbnail. And you can start. And that's the point is to just start. If you need help with starting your YouTube channel, um, I want to help you because I'm so passionate about YouTube. I'm so passionate about people telling their story and documenting their story. And I can hold your hand through the process. Uh, <laughs> but again, I can hold your hand through the process. I can walk you through flushing out your ideas. I can flush, I can walk you through consistency. I can walk you through editing. I can walk you through um, how to film, what to film, if you need my help. Um, I'll leave my email in the description. And um, if you need my help, please send me an email. I would love to help you guys start and grow a YouTube channel, especially if you're over 40, you have experience and you have value to give to the world. You need to start documenting. Um, I personally don't think it is, it's not, it's like a non-negotiable. It's something that you need to be doing, you know? So yes, hit me up if you need some help. And that's the end of this video. Peace.